right, all right. Welcome to this course video about how to use YouTube ads to grow your business. Before we get started, my name is Leo. Uh, the name of uh, or the website to my company is digitaltrack.co. I have a small digital advertising agency for local small businesses, home-based businesses, entrepreneurs uh, in my area. Right, and if you wanna follow me, you can just go uh, go to Facebook, um, type in Leo Callejas, and you should be able to find my um, uh, business page on Facebook. Um, it, uh, and actually, you can look for you can put on the URL facebook.com forward slash online marketing with Leo. All right, so let's let's get started. For those of you that don't know, right about YouTube, YouTube is a platform, a video platform. You know. You believe it under the rock or technology is not your strength. You never mess up with uh, anything about technology. Um, I think it's like the second um, search browser in the world, uh, uh, just below Google and Google owns both, right? So yes, Google owns both YouTube. And I reveal uh, some stats over here about YouTube, right? YouTube is not messing around. They have over 1 billion users meaning users are subscribed to watch YouTube, right? Um, and another fact over here is that people are watching 50% more video on the platform year over year. So if you can think about um, every year, YouTube has a grow, has grown 50% of people watching new videos on YouTube. Uh, and I noticed lately that if I go to the platform YouTube, I, I've seen a lot of uh, ads lately where if I'm watching a video for some reason, let's, let's pick uh, Patriots, if you're a Chief fan, um, my sincere, sorry to, to your team, right, for your loss. Um, I'm not a Patriots fan or anything, really was pulling for the Kansas City Chief, um, beat the Patriots, but yeah, it, it is the NFL 2018 playoffs, right? Um, and a lot of the ads, uh, I'm, I'm going off court, uh, off track over here. A lot of the, I've seen a lot of ads lately where I've got to watch a YouTube video or something, and I'll see YouTube saying, you know, get started with a, if you're a student or if you are, I can't remember the other, uh, a college student, and I can't remember what the other um, deal was. Uh, if you're one of those two, you can get started watching YouTube um streaming or some type of subscription YouTube has now to kind of replace TV, cable TV. Uh, they, so they incentivize in the youth, right? That mo the, most of the um, young generation that are getting rid of cable, they're incentivizing to move to other pay subscription services that YouTube have in, in a way to replace um, uh, cable TV, TV, but at the same time looking to compete with uh, others like um, Netflix or Hulu and subscriptions like that. So what are we going to do today's video course right for YouTube? So we are going to take a look at how you can use YouTube ad formats to grow your business. Also, we will take a look at how the platform works, including pre-roll ad ideas and the process you need to go through in order to get a return on investment for uh, video content. So real quick over here, about here, right? We'll take a look at how the platform works. So that's number one thing, right? A little bit about how to put the videos together, how, not the videos together, um, but how to put the ads together, right? What do we need to uh, get started with that? Uh, and we're gonna be looking at different type of uh, YouTube ads they have available. So there's some called pre-roll ad, and some ideas on how to use it, the process to go about it, and then there's other ones that are called, um, you know, bumper ads and some other formats that YouTube ads have available. All right, so moving on to the different kinds of YouTube ads. The first one is the non-skippable ads, and these are the ones that you are forced to watch for whatever amount of time there are. Usually, uh, they cannot be. Uh, they need to be between 15 seconds and 20 seconds long, right? So that's why it's not such a pain that you cannot skip it but because they cannot be that long. But yet, um, 
uh, you cannot skip it. And I'm sure if you, I'm not sure if you've seen this. I usually see it a lot, typically with big companies, Apple, uh, movie trailers. You know, when I'm watching a video or something, then a movie trailer comes out, uh, perhaps a music video. So big, big uh, entertainment industry. I've seen them use them a lot. These non-skippable ads. Um, I really cannot think of any other industry that um, just where I see this ones a lot. So, but still, I don't see them too often. So yes, the non-skippable ads. They can be 15, 20 seconds long, right? Uh, they call pre-roll ad campaigns, or or the format is pre-roll ad campaigns, meaning they need to be uh, the the ads will go before the video that you're looking to watch uh, starts. So, for example, the video that I put over here, right? This is a pre-roll ad because it starts playing the ad before I even uh, I, I can even watch the highlights that I that I'm trying to watch over here about. Oh, and as you can see, video we play after the ad. We got a perfect example over here. No skippable ads, 15 seconds, right? And it's a movie, just like I said. Um, right, just like I said, entertainment, uh, I see entertainment using a lot of uh, uh, n the non skippable ads. <clears throat> right, so that was a perfect timing for that example. Um, so that was a pre roll ad campaign, right? They, 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 those ads will play before the video that you're trying to watch starts playing. Um, they better for engagement. They have a higher video view abandonment rate. And the reason why, obviously, a lot of people don't want to see it through 15, 20 seconds now. You know, YouTube has done pretty good in getting these used to be able to skip in within three seconds. Um, and so they do have a higher view abandonment, right? Because they, they people don't want to get through those. Uh, they tend to get a bad rap because they're very, very, you know, if the three seconds are annoying to you, can you imagine the ones that are 15, 20 seconds long? Um, but if your ads are good and targeted effectively, they don't need to represent trouble. So for example, <clears throat> the ad over here being invest, inv invasive, right? Because I'm trying to watch the highlight and then you get 15, sec 20 seconds over there uh, of that Lego movie trailer, um, you know that that's basically what it's saying over here. They 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 get they get a bad rap, but if you get them in a good timing, that's different. For example, if I'm looking Lego movie to trailer, and the ad come up, right like this, this is very good uh, targeting because that's what I'm looking for, right? Uh, but the, the ad starting on that other video. Um, that wasn't great targeting at all, but I mean, they have such a large budget. They just approach the, what they call the gunshot appro approach, right? They just spray whatever uh, they want to spray it to because <clears throat> they still doing a lot of brand awareness, right? Um, uh, real quick, before we move into the next, something I wanted to uh, talk about, but that, that's for the skippable ads once we get here. So. The other type of ad is, is called, they're called the skippable ads, but also known as true view ads, okay? These are the ones that you actually have the skip button um, available whenever the ad is running. Now, these ones don't need to be uh, um, the pre-roll ads only, right? They can be pre-roll ads and they can be playing in the middle of the video, three quarters of the video to towards the end of the video. So they can be playing in multiple places. They just don't need, they don't need to specifically just go in the beginning of the video. Um, they don't force people to watch because you can skip them. Uh, one point I want to do about that is that if you skip it before the three second mark, or if even before the 30 seconds mark, I believe is still good, um, that you do not get charged. You still create a brand awareness, so that's great. And you still be able to remarket those viewers and yet do not you do not get charged. So there's a double-edged sword with that. So let's see if we can Google this. Um, YouTube skippable skip ads. Let's see what it says over here. I believe if it's good, YouTube's video skip ad trigger. Look at it. Looks like there's an, uh, a Chrome extension about um, how long before you get charged for 
a YouTube ad. Let's see if we can. So it looks like it's still 30 seconds. I don't know how, how old is this one. This one is February 27. I, I believe I, I heard somewhere that you supposed it, it's it may be um they may be cutting it down a little bit, maybe to 15 seconds. Still a lot, but yes, if 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 somebody where the um when viewers watch your your ad and they skip it before the 30 second mark you do not get charged for those if your video is shorter than 30 seconds they, they will find a way f to charge you that, that's smart right they know how to make their business but if they if they, you know the, your videos are a minute long and they skip it before the 30 seconds uh you do not get charged. You only get charged if they watch it past the 30 seconds or if somebody clicks on your video, <clears throat> on your ad. Um, so yeah, that's the beauty about it, right? You you and you can also do the same thing with like Facebook. If you're familiar with Facebook ads, you can set a budget, daily budget. Um, you can tell the, the campaign to run for, you know, from this start date to this end date and um, put a specific amount. But we go over that later once we actually go to the live um, demo on how to set up an ad. So the, this ad, skippable ads, can be in stream, which are the ones that are start playing during a video, right? Or it can be in display. In display is this example that I show you here. In display can be when you search in a video, uh, this is an ad over here. When you are at the YouTube homepage, um, that could be an uh, in-display ad over here somewhere sometimes. Um, or if you are in uh, um, in other areas within YouTube, whenever it, there's no a uh, when, whenever there's not a video, that's a in-display ad. So for example, if I I'm watching this video over here, this is a non-skippable ad. And if one of these are an ad, right, related to what I'm watching right now, that will be an in-display video ad as well. So they have the, they do have different placings for in-display. Uh, the more of, um, I will use it mostly for remarketing purposes, right? So if some, if I can uh, pixel or cookie, however you want to tell me you want to use, if I want to remarket somebody that already watched my YouTube videos. Um, that's mostly when I typically will, will um, choose in display or if I want to um, if I want to do something some do something like the the label mo label 2 movie right do something like this when somebody's searching for a term related to a video that I made if I want to more, create more traffic to that video but traffic in a way that is looks organically right put in in front of keywords that people are looking for uh, that's another uh, way I will use those as well in display. Here's a little, a little bit, uh, a little table matrix, right, in regards in uh, in stream ads and in display ads. So where ads in, appear, right, the in stream ads appears in YouTube videos, like I show you, uh, display network videos, meaning uh, other websites where YouTube purchases uh, space. Like if I were to go to, uh, I don't know, let's say Xfinity. And there's a video playing, uh, a video ad playing. You'll, you can see if you can tell if it's a, a ad served by, by Google, uh, or by using the Google network. Let's see if I can. So this is enhanced by Google. So they do have. I'm sure they they are buying space over here. Google is buying space from Xfinity, but looks like nothing's coming up right now. This is an ad over here. Um, more likely applies served by, by Google. Let's see, add info, add choices. So these are choices. You typically that, I think that's uh, Google, the one that has ad choices. Trusty, your advertised choices. All right, but you get the point, right? When you see, um, videos that are advertising on other websites and other blogs that you may be looking at, those are typically what they mean by um, display network. So in-stream ad can come up on YouTube videos, display networks, 
in games, right? If, if you play one of those video games for free on a mobile device and you start seeing uh, videos, those are the ones that they're talking about here. You see video before you can move on to the next level or before start before you start playing the next game. Uh, or even if you are in apps, right, within your mobile device, uh, you, you may see some of those. <clears throat> Other facts about in-stream ad video ads is that YouTube videos less than three minutes recommended so you should not it shouldn't be uh very long videos should be more likely to introduce um uh this to inter to try to sell the next step right to try to sell them uh to watch another longer video that you may have or to make the, or to invite them to watch a a platform or download some type of um uh uh, sit down through a webinar. So that initial video that you put out there it should be more of like an introduction video uh, for people to uh, get them pick their curiosity about the, the next step that you're trying to invite them to. Okay. Uh, image options. So image option it means the thumbnails that you see over here, right? What what picture do you want people to see when somebody's um, uh, see your video. So, on, on, uh, it's 300 by 60. Um, a text limit doesn't apply. Image options, you have 300 by 60. Companion, uh, click destination, it has to be your website, so you you must put a, a click destination if somebody is it's, uh, watching if you are doing any stream ad. So for example, um, Sam, Sam Moven over here is a, uh, he has been a great consulting comp, uh, consulting business. Um, and as you can see, if I want to learn more about what he's uh, promoting, uh, he, there's a clickable link that will take me to his website. So that's what they mean over here by click destination, okay? Add text limits, you can see there's no, it's a, it's a video basically playing, right? You can put this call to actions over here, um, but it doesn't apply because it's, it's a video playing. It, it's, not, it's not the same as, uh, for example, this ad over here, right, in display, or the other ads that we saw previously. Now, in display ads, your two video suggestions in video overlays. So, if I'm watching a video, and there's another recommendation that come up over here. Uh, that's what it's called. That's what they're talking about uh, in video overlay, right? Or the other ad that we saw when I did the search of Lego Movie 2, um, this is a, a in-display video like I mentioned before. YouTube search result. So obviously this is search result. I was doing a search. And that's what came out. So this is one of the places where those were up here. Video plays on YouTube watch or channel page, right? So if I, if I were to go to Warner Brothers uh, channel page, uh, there's ad that may come up over here as well, okay? That's basically what we're talking about. And display network content, meaning other websites where Google may purchase space. The video options for in display, YouTube video, and the length. So what it's saying about is that the video options, right, come up as a as a um, suggestion of video to watch. And then obviously you that you it will, you can take that to anywhere where you want people to go and the video can be longer because people what they're doing if if they looking for something, right? Let's say if they're looking for Lego two movie. Right, Lego 2 movie. Obviously, they're expecting to see the trailer. It could be three, five minutes long, so they're expecting to to see that. So that's why the 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 video link can be any length, because people were actually searching for that type of content. Image options choose from four thumbnails. So this is the thumbnail they chose for that one. Um, so that's basically the option. So let's see over here. So if I go to one of my videos. What they mean by that? If we go to my channel, we go to one of my videos. 
um, if I go to edit once you upload your videos you'll notice you give you be given options of thumbnails now Google will pick this free, this one's randomly um, so you can either take a screenshot of one of your images of your video or you can just create and create your own thumbnail uh, one program I'll recommend you to use it's free to use and pretty straightforward to learn how to use this canva.com it's free okay you do have to um, $9.95 per month, month for subscription for life. All right, that's a great deal. Uh, and they offer a 14-day free trial. So there you go. You have a great offer there for Canva in case you want to use this more often. Um, but the free version, anyways, you can start uh, using the free version. And all you have to do is uh, either go to Find Templates or try to type in on the search option YouTube channel art no we're looking for YouTube thumbnails and it automatically will give you the dimensions that YouTube thumbnails use it and then you can see you can pick um, some of the templates they already have or you can start from scratch so that's a, a one thing I will recommend you to use a free tool to recommend you to use to build this uh, thumbnails in case the ones that pick YouTube is picking from you for you uh, like we saw over here right from part of the video in case you don't like any of those you can then just go and create your own uh, add text limit, so there is a limit, there's 25 characters maximum for headline and 35 characters maximum for each description. Um, description is not shown in suggestions. Um, so let's try to go back to the example Lego to movie trailer. This is where they're talking about the descriptions, right? I oh, know this is not an ad. Probably got tired of showing me the ad. What other? Um, what else can we search for? How to get leads for your business? Let's see if there's any ad to come up. How to make a hundred dollars per day with Bing ads? All right, and then it has another one over here: affiliate marketing training generate online income. So that's basically the 25 characters maximum for a headline, 35 characters maximum per each description. Description not shown in suggestions. Um, so this is a suggestion. No, this is not a suggestion. This is a search ad type of deal. But whenever I'm watching something, let's say I'm going to go watch this video, and there's another suggestion over here. That's an, a paid uh, suggestion that they're talking about. So clicks, the click destination clicks on your video thumbnail, go to your video, right? So this one over here, or this one over here, right? The destination will be to watch the actual video. <clears throat> Clicks on call to action overlays go to your website. So let's see if this guy over here has a call to action overlay. No, he failed to have a call to action overlay. Uh, he did. He does have this one, uh, but actually the overlay should be going over here in case he's looking to promote something. But no, he's just looking to create awareness, right? Um, he's just looking to create awareness. But if he had <clears throat> uh, somewhere where people wanted to go, so for example, he has this link over here, he can actually put this link over here if he would have want to <clears throat> um, you take advantage of the clicks on call to action overlay. So for example, um, I don't think I have the video here. Mm, can't remember the title, but let's move on. If I, if I get a good example, I'll let you know. So let's review a little more in depth about in-stream, right? In-stream ads, as I mentioned before, I are pre they can be pre-roll ads shown at the start of a video. They can also go in the middle of a video, at the end of the video, etc. They can be used to achieve a variety of goals. One could be send traffic to your website, right? Because they start before the videos play and you're trying to get them to take a action to the next step, either be taken to your website, sign up for a webinar, uh, sign up to watch a, a, a longer training, etc. They can also help you boost YouTube channel subscribers. You can also create a form of YouTube ad called in display ads. These over here, the, it's the ones that we will be looking at the most, right? When we're doing a search for a specific video and it come up as a part of the search results. So these are 
These are ads that are shown in the search listing related to video sections or as video overlays. Um, in display ads aren't as invasive as other type of ads because if you do this right, right, they, be, they can be shown as part of the suggestions that Google provides when somebody is searching for a specific topic. Oh, not Google, but YouTube. Um, these are over here, we have little squares that can show you on YouTube search results, right? On YouTube related videos. So if you're watching a video and another related videos come up somewhere here, mostly on desktop or on mobile device, it will be towards the bottom. Uh, those will be related videos or suggested videos. Um, as YouTube overlay, right? So things that have appear underneath the video or on top of the video. And on partner websites, right? So if you're watching a, uh, a video on other websites or during a blog, a video may come up as an overlay uh, or the in display ad may come up in there. So YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world, just after Google, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And who owns YouTube? Well, Google does. So basically, in essence, Google is still right, the biggest search engine in the world. Uh, so that's why it's, it's, this is a key important thing to know when you are trying to come up with the video uh, that is for providing value, right, or creating awareness or, 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 or use it for like brand recognition. Right, because obviously when you use it in a great way to put it in front of people that are actually searching for specific answers, problems, whatever, it, obviously that it, it provides a bigger value because you're giving them answer to a question that they have. And if you do the video right, if the video is done right, those persons are going to remember you for uh, the one that provided answer to a problem they were having, to the answer to a question they had. Uh, or the solution to a problem that we're having. So relevance is important, right? 48% of US mobile users prefer seeing a pre-roll ad that are related to the content they are searching or watching. So that's why it's important to put some thoughts in, in place before you start recording a video. I, me personally, I, I'm on a phase right now that I want to be better at video. So I'm just, whatever content I learn, I just put it out there, but there's going to be a point where, you know, where we, we have to get better at using the best of our time. Or you can just start at that point, right? You can just be, start using, maximizing your, your time and actually researching the type of videos that you want to uh, come up, especially if that's not something that you want to do. But that's my goal right now, become better at video. So I'm just doing as many as possible at this point. So... A good thing to do research is go to go to YouTube, start looking at different suggestions, right? How to how to advertise, and then you can see the different suggestions on Facebook, on Instagram, your business, your YouTube channel, on YouTube. So all the suggestions over here is what Google or YouTube uh, knows that people are looking for. <clears throat> so that's one way to research on um, what type of contents to come up with and look at the suggestions that YouTube has. And, and if they're suggesting that, it's because there's people, other people searching for this type of of, um, of um, videos. Now, I cannot tell you the volume, right? So I don't, okay, Lee, out of these ones, what will be the best, uh, the, the most volume search of videos? So I can go and put it because, I, you know, the, the one that has the most volume of search probably is going to have, you know, the most competition, but at the same time, the most views. So I don't know. Uh, I don't think I have a tool that can help me with that. I do use, um, that's the tool that I use. Mm, Keywordtool.io. I do use this one for YouTube videos to see what other suggestions I have. So for example, if I have, um, if I'm looking for, YouTube ad in the in English. Um, maybe I want to change that to United States. It will give me a suggestion. Oh. Nice. They're showing me the, the 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 first five searches search volume while before it used to be all blur out like this 
but I guess they're trying to get me to invite me to get me to invite me to per upgrade to the pro version. But the, the the free version is what I use for now, right? Um, but as you can see, right, if I put some type of keywords over here, it, it helps me do a little bit of research in reference to what are some of the other keywords I can come up with. When especially this helped me a lot when I'm trying to do um, uh, an ad by placement using keywords, not by placement, but when I'm trying to do a YouTube ad based on keyword search. This helps me a lot to come up with different ideas. Obviously, I look at videos that are related. So uh, like this one, I may look at idea about the titles and what other videos come up when uh, as a suggestion or as a possible ad, or if I, <coughs> um, Here you can see the volume. I don't know if it's uh, if it's already uh, if the data provided here is, it goes by order. I don't know if these are the ones that has the most search volume. YouTube AdSense. These are the ones that is giving me a way to filter out. Is that the right word I'm looking for? So. So I don't know, um, you know how many how, how many searches are done by this other video. I guess we, it, you know, there's a paid version that they have to allow you to see that. But the way again I use this is to give me ideas on other type of keywords to use for the con related to the content that I'm trying to do, or just to see what other, you know, if there's a topic that interests me, maybe perhaps I may plug in some of these and and see what other videos are out there being made related to a specific content. So how to create videos for YouTube. There's a, so obviously videos are essential for YouTube ads, right? Because it, they do require a video in order for the, for, um, for the ad to run, right? After all, if you don't have a video, you cannot run any ads. Um, some things that I will recommend you is obviously uh, tools are your smartphone. Everybody, uh, most people, a lot of people have smartphones nowadays. So why go and uh, spend for the, um, you know, for a expensive camera when most smartphones have a great camera already, uh, and you're just trying to get going, right? You're just trying to get going. You try to get the momentum going. Don't don't overthinking. If you this is something that you're looking to do, um, just get it done somehow. Put a video over there. Um, you see. I'm probably sure if you are in some type of home-based business, online advertising, affiliate marketing, you're probably familiar with Ty Lopez. And if you see a lot of his videos, ads, YouTube ads, are just basically him walking around on his camera, right? So let's see Ty Lopez um, ads. Let's see if... Uh, that's all it is. Basically, him walking around on his iPhone or or whatever camera he has on his phone and recording videos, right? And he still get tons of view with those, uh, with those. So, for example, here in my garage, I don't know if this is the one of the first ad. This one has sixty nine million views. Um, but yeah, like like you see, all all he does is basically walk around. So the important is not basically how professional your video is uh, edited. And record it, especially if you're doing an ad. It's actually the message behind it, right? What words you use, what psychology you know about what moves people to um, to to the next step. And obviously, he's really, really good at it. So, smartphone, video camera, video making services. In case you totally chai about making video, uh, there's tons of video making services or or making video tools that you can do. Like for example, right now I'm just making a, a PowerPoint presentation and sharing my screen. That's something you can do if you're scared about showing your face. I don't have any concern about that at all. Um, and obviously there's a, you can use YouTube resources, right? So if you go to um, this link that I put over here, which you will not have access to unless you get a copy of the PowerPoint, uh, you can go to youtube.com forward slash yt forward slash advertise forward slash resources and you can see the different options um, uh, different resources available on how to make a video and learning about a little bit about prepping your story shooting your video editing if you are actually want to get all technical about um, uh, you know 
putting it all together, right? Concepting, storyboard, scripting, casting, uh, location, uh, a lot of time, you know, trying to study somebody that you like in video, trying to study from the point of view to know what they're selling, right? But how they're selling in the video, right? So nowadays I try to come up with a different approach. Like when I see something, when I go to a presentation to one of those, um, you know, one, two day events, workshop or anything like that, I also try to look from the lenses of, okay, why are they doing that? Why are they saying this? Why, um, how is he getting people to answer to him, right? How is it? So all those type of things I try to look for now whenever I, I even watch a video on YouTube, uh, especially an ad, right? What sort of things they're doing um, to get people to, number one, capture my attention, number two, to uh, make, get me to move to the next step. So how to set up a YouTube ad? First, you have to go and create a Google Ads account if you don't have one. That is going to be done on ads.google.com forward slash home. Um, just real quick over here. So you can Google Google Ads. It used to be called Google AdWords. So if you uh, see some places where Google AdWords TAM is still being used, that's fine. Uh, they changed the name to Google Ads. And basically, this is the home screen you're gonna see. You have it over here, and then you can either sign in or start. If you already have a Gmail account, you can sign in if you wanna use that Gmail account. If you wanna use a separate one for your advertising, that's fine. You can just click on um, sign in now, or start now, one of those two, and, and it's gonna ask you which account you want to use if you already have one. If, you don't, if you're not already signed in to Google, um, then it's gonna ask you to create one. Then you, you go into steps of adding some payment information or completing some additional information about you know the, your business. Um, all right, so now let's go to a live demo over here. So some of the things that you have to keep in mind is like, okay, what is what type of goal I want to achieve with my video, right? Um, the reasons why you want to know that because that's gonna help you number one, trying to trying to that's gonna help you with understanding what type of video you're gonna create first, right? Is it gonna be a video for you to teach people about something? It's gonna be a long format video, uh, and it's gonna be more to appear in the search results base uh, compared to like for example, I'm trying to get people to watch my webinar or get people to um, watch my training or download something, right, a free giveaway. Um, uh, by doing more of a the typical, you know, direct response type of ad, um, where it's gonna be two or three minutes long and you're trying to convince somebody, right, or persuade somebody to go into, into the next step, whichever that is. So those are two, right now, examples that I want, that I, I want to provide in reference to the goals that you want to achieve to understand what type of campaign you want to do so after you done setting up the payment form and other things you may want to do is uh, make sure that uh, there's a lot of things that has to be in place right it's not just your YouTube video that you're gonna uh, do but also obviously if you are doing something like uh, uh, skippable ads the in stream ads you'll need to put a link to that. So more likely you're gonna need to take that people to somewhere, right? And there's a lot of rules and regulations you gotta know about where, what type of ad, what type of links you can set on a, on a video to take people to. So for example, if you have an affiliate uh, to like your ML, your home-based business, affiliate to, you know, affiliate company or MLM company, um, those may get shut down simply because they're I'm not shut down, but you may have a hard time to try to get those approved. Typically, I would recommend you to just go and create your own landing page with your own domain. So those are some of the things that I, I want to make you aware. Um, if you are um, looking to build a long-term business, that's what the, the people that I want to, that I would recommend this uh, training to, for you to go and, and continue watching this training, right? If you are more of a, um, the type of, uh, you know, business that you're still trying to figure out what to do, 
and you don't have something specifically where you send people to yet uh, or have the desire to even create your own landing page, this may have a hard, you may have a harder time to try to get them approved. Um, so I will recommend you just to, you know, invest as well into creating your own landing page. And there's so many things you can do to create your own landing page now on low budget. You can just Google for free website building, right? And you're going to see a list of different ones that are not too complicated. Like GoDaddy has a website builder, Squarespace, um, Wix.com. Uh, and so many more, right? So many more that it's gonna it's not gonna take you too long to learn how to how to use them. And you don't have to do any fancy website at all. You, all you need to do is put one page type of website together, um, just to invite people to move into the next step, whatever you wanted to do, right? You wanted to opt into a, a webinar, you wanted to opt into a watch a longer training, you wanted to opt into some sort of capture page to get a, a goodie, a free goodie. That's fine. Go ahead and, and watch other videos, see what other business owners within your industry are doing, and maybe you can uh, model some of that. So free website builder, and something else I would suggest you is look for uh, places where to buy domains, right? Because a custom domain will be much better, much you have uh, uh, way uh, much uh, way better results in getting those ads approved. Because if you try Facebook ads before, you know. YouTube do has a, uh, policies in place as well where, um, you know, you may you know, make sure you follow them. And so getting the ad, you know, things like um, a, a link, custom link set up as opposed to using affiliate links or anything like that. And one of the reasons why is because uh, affiliate links seem to be, tends to be long and there's uh, an amount of, of, uh, there's a specific um, length limit that you have of characters within the link that probably is going to cause you issues, right? So I was talking about, okay, we you need a, um, a landing page, which you can use Google in one of those free web builder. Uh, the other thing is you're going to need your own domain, right? So you can go to places like GoDaddy and research, you know, you know uh, what type of domain you want. Doesn't have to cost you uh, much at all. Um, a lot of domains you can find for under twenty bucks. Other ones that I like to use is Namecheap. Namecheap even has domain you can find for less than a dollar per year. Uh, I'm sorry, GoDaddy you can find domains for less than twenty bucks per year. And, and same with um, Namecheap, you have plenty of options to um, of domain that you can get for less than. Uh, twenty dollars, ten dollars, one dollars per year, even. <clears throat> Should we get some water? Um, so those are some of the things that I would recommend to do. Something else I would recommend to do is set up Google Analytics. You can Google, you can Google Google Analytics and get it all set up. Um, what I mean by that is basically, let's see if I can show you a good example here. Let's uh, so for example, this person is running ads. Let's see if he has any type of Google Analytics set up. My top five tips for online entrepreneurship success right now. Best way to get started free plus free in the business. So this one only has a Facebook pixel, doesn't have Google Analytics, and he's taking me to a get response page. All right. Um, what else can we look for? Let's see. Let's go to the home page, see some type of, so let's go and watch, try to watch a good LMI later. Okay, perfect. All right, we got consulting.com. He's a master with um, advertising. So Google Analytics, right? Just like Facebook Pixel, if you're familiar with Facebook advertising, uh, Google Analytics will is something that you should install, especially if you're running at any type of Google Ads or even if you have any type of website. Um, Google Analytics should be the very basic that you should have installed. Um, you can see we have Google Tax Manager, Google Remarketing, Google Ads Conversion Tracking that he has set up on this specific landing page. 
Um, so he's able to, number one, remarket me, right? Pick, pixel me or whatever you want to call it. So his ads continue to follow me all over uh, the web. Uh, but at the same time, uh, he has analytics in place to try to understand, okay, how, how many people I'm getting, how many visitors I'm getting to this page, how, many, how much time they're spending, where, what places are they visiting the most, um, are, are, uh, am I getting most visitors from the United States or from other countries? So many, so much more information that uh, uh, you can find out from having analytics in place. So when running advertising, I will recommend you to go and set up all these tools over here because then how you're gonna know if something is working, right? You have to be able, it has to be some type of uh, way to measure what you're doing, especially if you're paying for it. Um, billing payment, you already got all that set up. Um, the analytics and then uh, linked account. I, I would recommend you to check that out, link, linked account, to see, um, to ensure that your uh, Google Ads account is connected to your YouTube channel and to get information on how to go about that. All right, and then obviously make sure that Google Analytics is connected to your YouTube channel and to your Google Ads account. All right, so next we're going to the type of campaign that you want to create, right? You go and select, you gotta make sure you're in campaign, select the plus symbol over here. And then we go into new campaign. And then you can use uh, some, some of a uh, guided version of of some of the suggestions that YouTube provides, right? You want to create sales, you want to create leads, website, um, product and brand consideration, brand awareness, or promotion, or create your own custom um, without a, a goal of guidance. So the one thing you want to keep in mind is that depending on what type of ad you're using, right? So you, you may not have a choice to choose some. So for example, sales, you don't have a choice for YouTube or for video. Is so if you're trying to create an ad for video, right? Instead of just in display, then obviously this choice will not be good for us. Uh, if it leads, this type of uh, campaign will work for us because it has videos an option. Website traffic does have a video. Product consideration has video and display. Uh, brand awareness video and display. And we don't worry about promotion and then co create custom. So if we want people to go to our, our webinar, right, or anything like that, maybe we want to pick web website traffic and, and um, or if we want to generate leads, right, we can pick that one as well and see what uh, suggestions Facebook had. Obviously, we want to choose the, the video one if we want to do like in-stream skippable ads um, um, as opposed to do it in display ads. So this one, drive conversions, right, that was we're trying to drive conversions, meaning we want people to opt into our, our webinar as an example. Um, let, let's use some of an example, right? He's, he was, um, he was putting, he put his ad in front of us even before, um, he put his ad in front of us with the, uh, with the, um, objective for us to go visit his landing page and get to obtain to his training. Okay, that was his, um, his objective. So once we chose the objective, if we follow one of the options that uh, YouTube provided there or Google Ads, we can then go ahead and put a name to it. You can then put your budget, right? You want it to be daily or you want it to be a campaign total. So if you only have $100 to spend on a specific campaign, you put a start and end date, let's say daily. Daily, I want to spend five bucks, ten bucks. I really want it. Leave a standard method, start end dates. You can choose that if you want. Target, because we are choosing a conversion option, um, right, to generate leads if that's our goal, drive conversions. Then obviously, it gives us this as suggestions to be strategy. Target, close per, target, click per action, right? That's what the bidding is going to be for us. Now, depending on what other campaigns you choose, and what again, what your objective, your goal is, you have other options. So, maximum cost per view, maximum cost per impression, uh, etc. But the only option we have here available because of the type of goal that we chose to generate leads, that's what um, YouTube or Google has put as an option for us. So, 
how much are we willing to spend on a clock on a click per action right cost per acquisition so to generate uh, to generate a lead to have YouTube generate a lead for us how much are we willing to spend right so if your product if you have an, uh, a back-end product that it costs you're trying to sell a course of for uh, $5.99 let's say well maybe you are willing to spend up to let's say 300 right um, and so 300 but not, not per lead right but you're willing to spend that and then how many leads does it take to how many leads would it take somebody to actually buy so uh, those are calculations you need to do to see what type of cost per acquisition uh, will do let's say I'm willing to spend uh, three dollars three dollars per lead right networks um, because again because of the type of campaign we chose YouTube automatically cho chooses a uh, help us you know YouTube automatically tells us which options to choose so uh, the only options we have here is YouTube videos you may don't want to do some other options like video partners and display network depending on your objective you may not want to do some of that uh, languages right you can set up and specify the language locations you can specify location depending on what country you want your ad to be shown exclude content I typically like to uh, not do uh, adult mature content or content not yet labels etc so you can choose if you want your uh, video not to be shown on some of this um, uh, content additional settings make sure to always check what additional settings you have go through the step of uh, expanding that because if you don't want your ad to be shown um, on, on, on the device right uh, then choose that right show on a legible device or set specific targeting for mobile services so you have those options available you just know that frequency capping right so if you want if you want to limit how many impressions your uh, video will get right you can limit that you want to do 10 impressions per day or per week or per month for each campaign do that you want to add another another cap do that um, you want to add a cap or limit for view frequency right so if you let's say your your ad is shown 10 times to the same people the ad is not going to be shown anymore if you for that month at least right if you if I chose a month now if there are people that are viewing the my video I can limit that to five times if that person view my videos more than five times I don't want to get pissed off either so I just um, I just tell YouTube look, look continue show the my video to that person my my ad to that person that I already watched five times okay ad schedule so if you have a local business and you just wanted to run your ad at a specific time when your business is open you can do that as well right you can specify the hours or even days ad group you put a name in the group hopefully something that helps you remember what that ad group is for and then you can choose where you want your ad to be shown well well first of all you choose the demographic right here are some of the demographics available either you want unknown um, the age the gender uh, the status you know parental status uh, household income looks like we don't have that option over here on the type of um, campaign that we chose and that's simply because YouTube is the one that's going to take care of trying to find the demographic related to the income now you got to choose how to target people right you want do you want to choose by audience So, ideas, audience, let's say home-based business. They don't have nothing related to what we, you know, for home-based business, if I would like to target home-based business. Uh, let's say I want to target people related to uh, business. Let's see what type of options. Are related to the business so recently started a business right some information that you too may have about that life events business creation life events business starting a business soon now I don't know how where to get this information so something definitely you can you can test to see how um, how that information uh, is gonna work for you 
so business. Let's see, recently started a business. So estimates are not available for campaigns with the drive conversion campaign. So we don't even know how many people you know they can they can target by that by choosing that campaign that we do. So you can do audience. Now other thing you can do audience for is if you already have um, remark if you already have remarketing in place if you already if you already being um, you know, running ads for a while and have a lot of traffic, you already collected a lot of information for Google, um, Google will show you a list of dif uh, different ways people visited with you or, or interacted with your business, right? Did they interact to your website? It will show you over here how many uh, uh, vis web visitors are uh, ready or tagged for YouTube to remarket. So, this one over here, audience, is great for remarketing if you choose this option. How they have interacted with your business. Remarketing and similar audiences, right? So if you have a big audience within Google already built, uh, that's great. So for example, Sam Owens does that a lot. Our, uh, you know, he has a big audience already built uh, with his ads because he, obviously he runs ads so, so much that uh, he has a large audience in a lot of the uh, the times when I when his ads come up in front of me is simply because I am cooking right I'm cooking by his um, uh, advertising it doesn't mean necessarily that he's placing the ad in front of me because I'm searching something related um, to what his ad is about um, more likely he you know I'm watching his ad simply because I'm already cooking by his um, uh, you know, basically, he's doing remarketing. Follow me all over the internet. Other things you can use is keywords, right? So, for example, if you're trying to be precise on what type of people you own, on, if you want to be precise on where you want your ad to be shown, to be really, really related to what people are looking for, uh, you can use keywords. Um, these are great. So, if you are want to be um, zero specifically like okay uh, this video now is going to go specifically to this type of people that are looking for this problem and because it has a big search volume right i i know it's going to be viewed a lot or not a lot not a lot necessarily but and it uh because it's going to be much much more targeted because it's going to be specifically to people that are looking for that word then the budget doesn't need to be that big either because it's only going to be shown again where people are looking specifically for that type of video. And um, it works much better if you do it in display as well, right? Because it's only going to be put in front of people that are looking for that specific keyword. But then if they do decide to view your video because of different reasons, right? Did they like, did they like the title? Did the title uh, match to what they were looking for? Did the uh, thumbnail call their attention and want to view more? So keywords uh, type of app, ad is very powerful. Topics you can choose a, uh, a topic over here, you know, by typing in words similar to audience. So let's say business, and then you can see you can see the type of topic. Now it gives you a little question mark over here to learn more about what topics, right? Select like topics to show ads on content about specific objects. So topic targeting is a simple way to place your ad on many web pages, apps, and video about certain subject. You can see that it was about a specific, specific subject. Topics are based on broad industry, broad industry or interest. So, it, you know, as you can see, you type in a specific word there. It's going to tell you based on, on what, um, it's, you know, if you select something of this list, then your eye will be put in front of people that are looking about similar projects. Or not project, but about a specific top, similar topics within the uh, YouTube channels. All the things that are available for where you want your ad to show in is placement. Now, one uh, and then placements, you know, could be like, if for example, if you want um, people that are looking for Sam Ovens, you can choose, you can type in over here, Sam Ovens. How do you spell his name? <coughs> Sam Ovens. And so you can see some YouTube channels, 
right, related to Sam Ovens. This is his official channel, so you can see he has 51,000 subscribers, so you can target his channel. Um, if you want to target some of his videos, you can do that. You can also do, okay, Sam Ovens. You can, you know, type in Ty Lopez, and you can filter by view count and see which Ty Lopez video has the most counts. And you can target that way as well, right? So filter Ty Lopez videos by view count. And we can see this one in the garage is the one that has the most view with 69 million views three years ago. Um, so that's placement, right? Looking for, you can look for um, websites, you can look for um, companies, uh, name of people, you can look for type of video like for example if you just want to target people that watch this video over here the garage one right you can do that you can copy the link put it over here of that YouTube video you can copy the link of a website too uh, you can copy the link of a YouTube channel and target that right there's different strategies you can do about, go about that now one thing I will recommend that if you try to use many different placements uh, like keywords, topics, placement. Um, with maybe if you've done Facebook before, if you try to combine different targeting within Facebook, as long as you don't do the narrow or the exclusion part of Facebook, um, all that is Facebook is doing is adding all of those type of audiences together, right? Combining and giving a bunch. So they say, for example, you do, there's a thousand people like Ty Lopez, there's a thousand people that like uh, Gary V, and you put it all combined within the same audience. Now your audience is going to be 2000, right? Your possible audience. While here on YouTube, uh, be careful because what you're doing is actually narrowing, right? So if you put keywords and then you put a, a topic, uh, um, all you're doing is narrowing. You're not making it, um, you don't you don't make that combination of the both. You may narrow. So sometimes if you if you see your ad is not running, it's because your audience is so narrow, so small that YouTube doesn't have anywhere to show it, to anybody to show it to. Then the last step over here is choose the video right that you're going to be um, advertising. So just for sake of doing something over here. We can see that no, these other options are available, but you can see what type of options are available with other type of campaign you choose, right? So in stream is the only option that we have, which is the one that runs before your, uh, the video that people start looking to watch. Uh, this one plays before the video uh, starts of people that are looking to watch it. In video discover, those are the ones that we saw about video, you know, that appears on search results. Bumper ads, a bumper ad is a short video ad that plays before, during, or after another video on YouTube. And outstream ad, this ad form, this ad plays automatically on mute in places like the top of a page or within article text or mobile service. So sometimes you'll, you'll notice an ad on, on the home page. And so that, not at the moment, we don't see any of it here, but every now and then you see an ad on the home page, and that's basically what they're referring uh, in regards to um, our stream. So the other thing you got to do is the, the URL, right? Where do you want people to go um, after they click on on the on the link? The display URL. So for example, uh, this is the URL for people to go. But display URL, I don't need to put all that over here. I can just put uh, www.consulting.com as long as it's similar to where I want people to go uh, that's fine I just don't have don't need to put all the HTTPS and column and four slides right it's just gonna look much cleaner if I just put the www.consulting.com that's what the display URL can go the final URL has to be the actual URL where you want people to go you had to put the HTTP well you YouTube adds it for you Google ads adds it for you the HTTP portion of it the call to action Call to action, right? What do you want your ad to say? You can see over here, right? Let's say you say click here. 
headline. Headline could be access free, let's see if it fits. No. Free training. And that will change over there. And then you can uh, either upload an image or uh, you can choose to auto generate, have uh, Google Ads auto generate. Auto -generate. You can name the ad so that it, it helps you remember what type of ad you're running. That, in essence, is how you create a YouTube ad for the, you know, the, with the campaign option of conversion. Um, also, with the option to do in stream and skippable, right? Um, you can definitely do the custom view and explore different options. Like if you want to go and, and play around with uh, doing a display ad, you can do that. Um, video, you can do that. It's very simple. You have no way to mess it up. If you find reason you mess it up, you can always stop it. Um, if you say you're going to pay $5, you can stop it at any point before it start running. You can delete it and start it over. There's no way for you to mess it up, all right? Um, that's basically how you're going to about setting up an ad. Now, optimizing your campaigns over time. So, view rates are, if your view rates are low, like I mentioned before, right, meaning nobody's watching your ad, if you go to um, a specific campaign, so for example, I built a, an example here. So, I got traffic campaign over here that are not getting any, any type of views at all. That means I have a uh, low, um, the placement that I put is, is it's targeting, you know, not too many people. So I got to go and change that, figure out what I did wrong, right? Why is my ad not showing? It's not because of the budget, because I have $10 a day in there. Um, so I have to go and figure that out. So if your view rate is low, your headline may be not driving a lot of people. Your description does not encourage people to click. Your thumbnail image is may not be eye-catching, right? You compete with other similar videos that have better thumbnails if you are doing like a search result type of ad. People may be tired of seeing your video. So if you had a, uh, this is the best way to know is if you had a, a, a view rate that was high in the beginning, but then it's going down, and that's an indication people are tired of seeing your video. Plus you'll, you'll see people cursing you like, oh, I am tired of your video and leaving your comments like that. Uh, try and only change one thing at a time right so if you do a if you did a campaign and perhaps you're not getting the um the results you were looking for obviously hopefully hopefully you let it run for some time talk about four or five days um then other things you can do is change try and change one thing at a time to figure out okay what is it that is not working over here if too many people are skipping your ads, try changing the first five seconds of your video to see if there's something that, um, you know, that a little bit, uh, something small that you said that perhaps can make them stay longer. With all paid marketing campaigns, there's only one metric that truly matters, right? And that is your return on investment. So if you are earning more money than you are paying per view, then your ads are obviously working out for the better. So there's not really a lot of things you should be changing if it's getting more money for what you put in it. However, if you're paying more per view than you're earning, there's something not quite right in your campaign. Now, this is something obviously that you cannot know in the beginning, especially if you're brand new, right? Um, if you have a... A product that is five thousand dollars obviously right within the <laughs> within the first view of that you you don't know how to sell that product within five hundred thousand what five thousand dollars within YouTube right there's a lot of pl pl things that go into place but uh, that's typically something that you should consider especially if you already have a product in place you already know it helps people you're just trying to figure out okay what's the best way to market out there in YouTube then there's some parameters you should put in place to figure out, okay, when is a good time to stop this ad and then start all over with another ad, right? You should not always blame your video on your ads for poor performance when running a paid uh, YouTube campaign. Um, sometimes it may be because your ads might be designed to encourage people to visit a website or social conversion. 
But if your website is not optimized for conversions, then it's not going to turn website visitors into lead or customers. Uh, best example I can provide here is uh, Sam of an advertising, right? Obviously, his um, the website that he, he takes us to is optimized for uh, conversion, right? To invite people to become lead. Obviously, he's providing something, right? How I got 30 to 50 high ticket clients high ticket coaching and consulting clients every single month with predictability down to the dollar and day and that's his big promise right and people that want to learn more about that they will go ahead and opt into his training to his free training and obviously he will then at that point teach you something of value and then he will sell you his course um, and if you don't buy then he will continue to uh, target you over and over again with ads. I always remember to be throw in your approach. You'll know that your website is a problem when your click-through rates and view rates are high, but you're not generating leads from your pre-roll ad campaign. Uh, over time, you'll be able to optimize your ad targeting by analyzing the analytics that YouTube collects for you. In conclusion, YouTube ads represent a new opportunity for you to get in front of potential customers, right? So if you uh, are have been doing word of mouth, if you be doing uh, um, prospecting one to one, right, messaging on Facebook, LinkedIn, etc., or if you've been doing advertising on Facebook or print media in your local uh, area, then obviously YouTube uh, opens up a new opportunity because those are people that didn't know you. Um, never saw you before if you never run an ad of here. Um, as with all ad platforms, you need to know what you're doing if you want to protect yourself from losing money. So some of the things that perhaps you can do is obviously watch a, a training video like this one. What other training videos are out there or courses, that courses, Facebook video courses that you can buy or sorry, I should say YouTube video ad courses, right? Um, what else is out there? Have you checked out the YouTube or Google Ads policies, right? To make sure you are abiding by the rules. Um, that includes knowing how to create compelling pre-roll ad videos. So if you have, if you study other videos like in your industry um, and see what they're doing is, and if they're getting great success, right? What sort of things you can model to make compelling videos. Um, uh, you, do you know who to target on your ad? The way you say something, right? Does it give you, do you, uh, are you actually targeting the people that you want to target with the way you, the, the things that you say in your video? And are you actually touching an emotion of people or are you getting the message across when people are looking at you, your video? Whether you use skippable ads or non-skippable ads, you'll need to keep a constant eye on your metrics. You should always consider split testing too. Uh, you might not get it right on your first go. We never, I mean, it's, it's uh, pretty hard to do it on the first go unless you are pro to what you do. Um, but frequent testing will help you zero in on your goals. You're right. I'd say frequent, frequent testing is just like practice, right? The more you practice, you are, you get better and better and better at whatever is it that you are practicing that is either yes or yes that you are prone to get better. Once you get those things handled, YouTube ads will be as familiar to you as all the other ad platforms you have used in the past. Just like uh, what we, the long demo that I just went through reference to how to set up an ad. Yeah, in the beginning, what can you, like I did, it may take a while to put one together, but that's just basically because we were doing a walkthrough and something that you perhaps you never saw before. But the more you do it, the more, you know, the, the faster it will become second nature to you if you keep doing it over and over. In that inclusion, uh, it's the training for today. Again, you, if you want to know more about me, you can follow me on Facebook or you can visit my website, www.digitaltrack.co and kind of stay updated with trainings that I release um, often related to uh, digital marketing. All right, have a good one. Bye.